When a hospital says to a family, you need to consider a nursing home, it can be a gut-wrenching decision. Few of us can provide around-the-clock care for a loved one. It can mean having to learn new medical skills, coordinating doctor's visits, all while providing emotional support. Tonight, Suzanne Lawler shows you how one family came together to care for its cherished matriarch at home. Her kidneys had started to fail. They were failing fast. Um, she's always had her challenges. She had open heart surgery in 2007. She had a stroke in 2010. The Brown Bunch, as they were affectionately known, are all grown up right now. And the four siblings had a decision to make, the kind that will always stay with you. Not she would give up because that's not what she wanted. So. It wasn't a hard decision to say bring her home. So now, all of the Browns help out. That's grandson AJ, who cooks all of the meals. No, I think the hardest question to answer is, what do you want to eat? But Valencia is her mom, Geraldine's main caregiver. And sure, it was a swift choice to bring the matriarch of the family home and not send her to a nursing home. But making it happen, not so easy. Then it's a learning curve when you have to learn how to operate equipment, how to give shots and all of that stuff. Stuff like coordinating doctor's visits and doling out more than two dozen pills a day. All of them look alike. It's a lot of work. But you see, Geraldine worked this hard for her kids and never left Valencia's side when sickle cell anemia took her down as a kid again and again. She held my hand. She didn't go home. She stayed there. If I was in the hospital five days, she was there five days. Or my dad would bring her clothes to change. She'd shower there. Her dad, Julius, was caring too. A gentle giant at six foot three. When Julius passed away after 57 years of marriage. I haven't completely, I think, turned that loose. Because I think about him all the time. It only solidified their children's decision. And her soulmate passed away, so she probably just would have felt like she had nothing else to live for. And Geraldine, well, she has so much gratitude for the way things turned out. I think about people that don't have children and they seem forgotten. Geraldine is no longer knocking on death's door. And the Brown Bunch is making it all happen, putting family bonds first and coordinating life for a woman that spent her life watching out for them. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now, if you're taking care of a loved one, AARP has resources for caregivers right here in Central Georgia. They provide information and referral for a variety of programs serving older adults and caregivers. Call 478-751-6160. You can also contact Georgia's Area on Aging. They have a list of resources that are available to caregivers. Their number, 1-866-552-4464. And one more to add to that list, just log on to eldercarriage.org. Yeah, I'm sorry, eldercaredirectory.org. We also have links to these resources on our website at 13wmaz.com.